Hey CES, Mrs. Hoyt here, and I'm going to share with you guys, there was a party for Langston. And if you don't know, Langston Hughes was an American poet. There was a party for Langston at the library, a jam in Harlem to celebrate the word making man. Langston, the king of letters. whose ABCs became drums, bumping, jumping, thumping, like a heart the size of the whole wide world. Langston was the best word maker around. Could make the word mother feel like a real warm arms wrapped around you, giving you a snug hug. Could make the word America look like two friends making pingy promises to be cool, to be true. Could make the word Harlem sound like the perfect place to have a party. Make it seem like you could bust a move right there in the H, the L, or the M of it. There was a blowout for Langston. To celebrate the man who wrote wake up stories and rise and shine rhymes. Ever since he was just a little boy, daydreaming under the Ohio sky, turning birds into words flying all around him, imagining the clouds as paper to put them on, the best word maker in his class. But not everyone understood Langston. Some people thought it was better to be word breakers, thought his spelling deserved yelling, wanted to take words like free and love and cut them in half, pull them apart, keep all the letters from touching and sharing, keep the big H's with the little H's and the big A's with the little A's. But Langston, the brave word maker, knew letters were better together, turned them into laughter. And that laughter rang out for years and years in cities and towns, on trains and tractors, to classrooms and bedrooms, bringing joy to the little and the big. And that's why there was a party for Langston at the library, a fancy foot, get down, all out bash. And all the books on the shelves were listening and looking at all the people shimmying full of dazzle. Don't nobody dance like a word maker. And all the best word makers were there. Like Maya. Who Langston's language laughter tickled as a child. Who grew up reading his words and learned to make words of her own. So she could make the word woman seem like the word mountain and the word cage feel like a place far, far, far away. From this library, this party, Maya dressed in constellations, stars dangling from her. She rose up from the floor, flapping like a free bird, flapping so freely with wings unbroken. Amiri, another one of Langston's word children was at the party too. Came bopping in, dressed in his good clothes and his soft shoes. Black, his favorite word on his tongue. Amiri could make the word black sound like it could be red. Could make the word black echo into the future and way, way back into the past. Back to Langston. Amiri came to recite poems at his hero's feet, came to dance, boom, ba, boom, boom, ba, boom, 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 came to offer his rickety radio heart to Langston, the man who wrote. His neighborhood as America, his family as America, his funky music as America, and America as America too. the man who wrote Maya and Amiri into the world.
Maya and Amiri danced, like the best words do, together, dazzled together. They held hands and swung and spun and slid, stepping and stomping and boogie woogie wiggle and wild. Oh, what a time to gather together, to gather together. Until they lifted their heads to the word making boy who had grown up to be a word making man and now had become the word making king. To Langston for Langston. And let laughter fill the library. Laughter, the language of ha ha ha. Loud like the love in the library that night in all that hoopla in Harlem at that party where the books were looking on as new words were being written, where the books were listening just like you. <laughs>